Before we get started, I want to kick off by saying, yes, I am aware of Patagonia's Worn Wear website. And of course, I think that them repairing their own kit and selling it on is a, you know, a great idea. But the idea that I'm about to put forward is actually way more aligned with the recyclable, ethical, and waste avoiding values that Patagonia have at the forefront of their brand. So before any of you Patagonia fanboys and girls come after me, please remember that this is probably the most sustainable way to get your hands on some Patagonia gear. Gear. So let's begin. You do not need to spend £222 on a Patagonia Nano Puff hoodie. And this goes, my friends, for a lot of their gear. I purchased this. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. I purchased this Patagonia Nano Puff hoodie for £60, my friends. And you can do it too. And I'm going to teach you how. All right, let's do the rest of the video with the thing on, shall we? And before you go typing in the comments, is this one of their worn wear jackets? No, guys, those prices are, you know, great for the environment, but they are not good for your wallets. This jacket costed me 60 quid and I did not buy it on the worn wear website. So where did I buy this jacket, ladies and gentlemen? And how can you do it too? Well, let's find out. So I knew I wouldn't be able to afford 220 pounds on a jacket, but I was curious. I thought maybe, you know, maybe eBay has some answers for me. So I typed in Patagonia Nano Puff on eBay and this is what I found. I really didn't need to search for that long at all before I found this jacket. And the listing itself was really detailed. It had great images and even highlighted the one problem that the jacket had. So me being me, I don't really like the bidding process on eBay. So I decided to lock down the jacket and offer the seller a, you know, a price that he couldn't refuse. He was, he was advertising around I think it was only day one that he listed it as well so I offered him immediately 60 pounds and within a few seconds guys he approved the request and, and boom the jacket was mine and even though it was a few days you know longer than you'd expect if you bought it brand new I was fine with that I was just happy to get a jacket a quarter of the price advertised on its site so immediately when I received the jacket I washed it too I think I might have even done it three times and hung it up and dried it out each individual time just so that I know it would be clean and you know as good as it possibly could be and now guys looking at the actual build quality I can I can definitely guarantee this is a, a real jacket. It's got the right logos, the right labels, the right zips, and the build quality is just undeniably good. The zips are still strongly intact. The pockets are completely sound. The hood is great, bar a little material beading at the top. And the only damage that the jacket has was actually listed and actually like highlighted in the eBay listing itself. But this little bit of damage is something that I'm certain I'll be able to fix myself. Basically, it's two small holes that are in the side of the jacket. It looks like a moth has eaten away at maybe the in, inner lining of the jacket or I mean it could also be maybe a cigarette burn or hopefully it's just a spark from a campfire from a trip somewhere there's two minor little holes but they are literally the size of like a pencil rubber you know what I mean they are absolutely tiny guys and thankfully this these holes aren't something that's gone all the way through there's no holes on the exterior of the jacket and there's no down fluff like coming through the jacket at all and thanks to the millions of different websites that I think there's some one called fixit.com thanks to those I know I'll be able to find a guide on how to fix these little holes and I yeah I'm excited to fix them guys it's gonna be you know I'm gonna put my own little stamp on this garment but regardless of this tiny little hole the jacket is still really warm really usable and like it looks new like it looks absolutely fine it looks like I've had it for a few months which I have had now I bought it back in March and it is uh, the end of July basically August now uh, so I've had it for about three four months and guys I wear the jacket all the time it's, I've worn it to work I've worn it out with my friends I kind of wear it underneath my raincoat as well because it's so thin and like just compact to my body and yet still really really warming so yeah I absolutely love this jacket so guys this was a really positive experience and I saved a lot of money there it is the money bags logo uh, just by buying this jacket off of eBay guys I saved a ton of cash of course there are a few things you want to keep an eye out for when you're on ebay generally speaking if it's set up like a shop i think it's probably going to be fake when i'm buying on ebay i look for individual people who don't have loads of uh, listings who don't have loads of options on the right side of the listing as well it's just one garment in one color at one size that's what i look for because i can imagine that person has bought this jacket it doesn't fit them or they don't like it anymore and now they're trying to sell it on if you look on ebay and you see someone who has like 10 different jackets and 10 different colors and 10 different sizes it could it could be the original brand or it could be like a replica or a fake factory you know selling out a bunch of gear I don't know why anyone would need 10 different versions of the same jacket unless they are probably a faker I stay away from them I stick to listings that are made by guys and girls like me and that's a pretty easy rule to follow and guys like I'm, I'm just sharing this video because I don't think enough people know about it like there are so many different garments on there loads of different sizes different makes you can tell some of them are really old you can tell some things are from the 80s from the 90s from the 2000s you can tell some are brand 
brand new on eBay. It's not just Patagonia that are on eBay. I've seen some North Face, some Columbia. I'm pretty sure I even saw some Fruidark equipment on eBay, guys. This is a great way for us to save cash and to be more sustainable in our purchases because by buying equipment through eBay off of other consumers, guys, we are stopping items from, from going to landfill and from going to waste and from staying in cupboards for 25 years just to be thrown away. Buying equipment off of eBay, off of other consumers, speaks directly to Patagonia's brand values of sustainability, ethic ethicability, that's not the right word, but you know, ethical uh, garment creation. It just speaks to everything that they, you know, put out into the world. And I'm sure if they saw this video, they would probably approve this message too. So ladies and gentlemen, save yourself some cash, help the environment and purchase your next Patagonia item off of eBay. If your money's tight right now, and let's be honest, it pretty much is for anybody, then I'd suggest clicking on the video that's popping up on screen now. It's a review of a full body waterproof suit. That's a jacket and a pair of trousers that cost 40 quid, guys. It is dirt cheap and it's definitely worth a look if money is tight. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one very, very soon.